people across the UK have observed a two-minute silence to mark Armistice Day. The Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall led the country's commemorations with an appearance at a special service to mark the centenary of the burial of the unknown warrior. Our Royal Correspondent Nicholas Witchell reports. It occupies a place of honour just inside the main entrance to Westminster Abbey. It is the grave of the unknown warrior and for 100 years it has symbolised a nation's loss. It was on this Armistice Day anniversary in 1920 that the body of an unidentified serviceman was brought from the First World War battlefields of northern France. It was carried through London on a gun carriage and born into the abbey for burial among the kings, watched by a congregation of a thousand bereaved wives and mothers. One hundred years later, social distancing had limited the abbey congregation to just 80. Everyone wore a mask. Led by the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, they gathered to honour the one grave which represents every husband, son or daughter lost in war. Here words fail us, here we remember, here we dare to hope. In Westminster Abbey and at different places around the nation, at 11 o'clock, silence was observed. As a bugler sounded the last post at the cenotaph, the Prince of Wales placed a wreath of laurel leaves at the grave. The poet laureate read from his tribute to the unknown warrior. All this for a soul without name or rank or age our home, because you are the son we lost, and your rest is ours. In his sermon, the Archbishop of Canterbury spoke about comradeship and shared sacrifice, whether in a world war or a global pandemic. When, as we have this year, we face deep uncertainties and difficulties, we do not just look after ourselves, we make a stand for our families, for our friends and neighbours. We look out for our loved ones close and far because we know that none of us are safe until all are safe. The Union flag, which had covered the warrior's coffin, was borne to the Abbey's altar and a prayer was said for all those who've served others during the pandemic. From the aftermath of a world war and the grave of an unknown warrior, a reminder of individual sacrifice and a nation's resilience. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News. Londoners fell silent at 11 o'clock this morning to mark Armistice Day and the end of the First World War in 1918. Among more than 100 war memorials around the country that have been given listed status is this one in Surrey. The Bridley Manor Memorial in Guildford marks a spot that thousands of men would have passed as they left nearby training camps on their way to the front. I mean, well, it's all changed with our weather this Armistice Day. We started the week with high pressure for many of us, quite a bit of mist, fog and settled weather, but things are turning much more unsettled at the moment. This is the picture in Wrexham a little bit earlier on. Few glimpses of blue sky around, but for most of us, as we head through the rest of today, there will be a lot of cloud around. It will be turning increasingly windy from the west, and there's some heavy downpours on the cards, particularly heavy rainfall across western and northwestern parts of the UK.